Can we honor him? Can we honor him? What an honor. Hallelujah. Oh, Suruni, Asa, Seyefu, Wutim, Krum, Krum, Riyan, Amangwe, Shuma, Yaso, Oh, na yeah. Oh, my subject and the man of God has done some amazing work on it uh.
Unenya mi asema me na para owo ho yeah Unenya mi asema me ye na para owo ho ya bane ni mo Unenya mi asema me Yeah. 
Genesis right through to Revelation God didn't will it that man would do it alone can I say that again I'm saying that right from Genesis to Revelation God didn't will it for man to do it alone Didn't he create man in his own image and after his own likeness? Then God says, it is no good for this man that I have created in my image, in my likeness, to still be alone. Do you know why? In the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, you read, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. Do you know the word used as God is the word Elohim that is the plural what it means is that he was saying that in the beginning the father the son the spirit came together to orchestrate creation oh. 
have you forgotten in verse 26 when he was going to make man he said let us let us man was not made to be alone So concerning the Israelites, in their day, the Bible says, he led them by a pillar of cloud. Man was not permitted to be alone. Man was permitted to be led by the Spirit. That is how God made it. In the night, by a pillar of cloud, fire. That is how God made man to operate. I came with just two words. Dependence and intimacy God willed it that man would depend on him I realize in Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power the Bible says he went about he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil why the Bible says God was with him Isaiah was prophesying of this child, Isaiah says, he shall be called Emmanuel. What is the meaning? God with us. God didn't will man to be alone. This is the challenge. We have tried prayer by ourselves. Do you know there is a spirit of supplication? We, we, we have tried too many things by ourselves. We have tried. You know, Jesus asked them to wait. After he had told them to go. In Matthew chapter 28, 18 and 20, he told them to go and make all men his disciples. So Jesus said, go. Yet in Luke chapter 24, Jesus said, don't go. Is it a contradiction? No. We start going by waiting. We start going by staying. Mark chapter 3 verse 14 the Bible says he first called the disciples to himself to stay with him before sending them out nobody is permitted to go out if he has not stayed with him the real assignment is not the stage do you know sir when he asked them to wait Pastor, they were 500. When the Holy Ghost finally came, they were 120. 380 people. They could not wait. Oh. And the story of these guys, the whole week it's been in my heart because I've been thinking about it. They saw Jesus live. They saw Jesus die. They saw Jesus resurrect. They saw Jesus ascend. What other message again? Isn't this enough to go and take the world? They saw it. They saw it. Jesus says, without the Spirit, you can't preach this well. Without the Spirit, what you are seeing, you can't communicate. Ha. Ha. When I come to this church, when I come to just this church, something just bubbles in me. It, it, it just hits me. Ah, some people waited on God and physical fire descended. No, no, no. No. We, 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 no, 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 no. We can't settle for less. No, no. If you have, if you are going through this, DNA. No, you can't be ordinary. Family, would you believe that they gathered together in the upper room instead of Jesus' mother weeping because her son has left. Jesus' mother was in the meeting. That woman, there is something that she was there for 10 days. The guys didn't move. They were there. What were they doing? Waiting. Waiting. Jesus didn't say, wait until you are tired. Wait when you feel like going, go. He says, wait until. Ah, 
family, when the Spirit came, I saw Peter pick the Word of God. A simple sermon. He had not even prepared the message. He was just talking. He was just talking. 3,000 men. 3,000 men came to Christ. Mercy, mercy. It's fine. It's fine. The sound is waiting. Hallelujah. 3,000 men came in. I'm going to end with this. I saw a scripture in Exodus chapter 17. The Israelites against the Amalekites. They were going in battle. So Moses said, Joshua should get the men that fight. They went onto the scene. The men were fighting. Do you know what Moses did? Moses, from people, he went up. And the Bible said, he was in prayer. Moses was there. And his posture was that whenever he prayed, he lifted up his hands. Would you believe that warriors were on the field? Yet the man who was up there waiting was determining the fate of the battle. You think battles are won by fighting? They are won by waiting. They, they are won by waiting. Now the people realize that anytime they, they, they looked up and they saw Moses' hand, they were winning. Anytime his hand started coming down, they realized that it had a bearing on the battle. Do you know what they did? Aaron and her decided to also climb up. And this was the assignment. They went to hold. One of them held his left. The other held his right. What for? That the man can keep on staying there. Family. They won the battle. But that was not just it. Listen to what the Lord said. The Lord said, I am going to wipe the memory of the Amalekites from the face of this earth. Do you understand it? <laughs> it was more than a flawless but <laughs> victory. The Lord was saying, nobody would even remember that the Amalekites lived. The victory is such that I have completely wiped them that you can't even trace their blood. And it was a man. He was waiting. Sir, Jesus came onto the scene after age 12. The next time we heard of him was age 30. 18 years, nothing was written. 18 years, where did he go? You see, sometimes we are in a hurry. I want to tell you the secret to speed. Wait. Learn to spend time with God. David, he said, a day in your court is better than a thousand days spent elsewhere. Can I speak to those of you who are waiting? You are praying. You come for service in the morning, in the evening. It's like you are fasting. It's like da ben da, da ben da. God is doing something. Give him time. The guys who were praying that the Holy Ghost came upon after some few days they will move and their shadow would heal the sick. They would move and their shadow will raise the dead. Do you know what had happened? It is a certain software in Isaiah chapter 40. When he said, do you not know that the Lord, your God, he does not get tired. He is not weary. Then he moved on and he said, the youth, they get tired. Young men, they utterly fall. Listen, the book of John, John says, I write to you young men because you are strong. So to say that a young man is weak, it's a serious statement because young men are the half of the strength of our kingdom. 
But Isaiah said, even the young men, they fall. See, they fall. But look at what he says next. Those who wait upon the Lord, he said, they shall renew their strength. Then he said, they shall mount up with wings like the eagle. They shall run and they will not be weary. Look at it. They shall walk and not faint. He has already told us the one who does not faint. Who is he? God. When a man waits, capacity changes. When a man waits on God, he begins to possess something in God. Moses spent some time with God. After a while, they couldn't look into his face. Hey. This is what is serious. Hear me. And I'm done. Look at it. With men, you have to walk. Then you run. Then you try to soar. That is the regular of men. What's here? Like a child, or teacher, Kakra. No, I'm sorry. Not so Kumrika. Not old. But the people who wait, he turned the thing. It was not walking to running to. Sorry. The people who wait, he says, this is rather where they will start from. They would mount up with wings like the eagle. That is where they start. Oh, if I were you, I would get back to my days of prayer. I would get back to my days of cavine. I'm going to wait until he shows up. I told God I'm not in a hurry. See, I don't know how many years it will take. But Lord, until you are done, until you are done baking me. Please, don't let me go. I know my generation love fast food. Everything here pen in temp. But you know there's a difference between disposable and durable. Disposable. You don't keep long in making them. <laughs> but after using them once, twice, you throw them off. But durables, sometimes it takes years. I don't know who it is in this place. Greg will be on soon. Listen, I don't know who it is taking years in your period of waiting. I say, hey, see that. Something is happening. God is working something. It is serious that, say, your message is very relevant because he does not say that those that wait, he will give them a car. I have been saying that if we have to do this to get a car, then the price of that car is too expensive. Did you understand me? Three days fasting, somebody changed the course of an entire nation. So if I would do 40 days, no, no, because there is a way we go about it. Seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And thereafter, all other things shall be added. Listen to me. When you leave here, don't stop praying. It will not feel like it. There are some of you ladies, you are fasting. And they are telling you, Sister, because you are serving in Maybe you are serving in church. Please don't leave. Keep serving. Keep doing it. See, you, you might have said you are fasting. Some friends have heard it. They are saying it is too much. Listen, it is not too much. Let's keep at it. I pray for you. I pray for you. That in the name of Jesus Christ, this will not just be a theme that we put on this service, but it will be a life. I am going back to my place in the closet. That is your war room. That is your investment zone. Go and make investments. Go and tarry. 
Kafana ma kofenefe. Ratata be kofeno no me. Ratante be botam be don fene mai. Rate be komale. Ezele me koya kai. Ratata de me. Men after the order of the apostle leaves. Men who walk it. And me kom me kola kai. Not with an apology. And me love me go bent of ande. Rapapa to fire. I yes tell I ma kofane. A rate ne me kola. A pe kofele. Rate me kofai. Rata ba kofale. A yata ta me kofala. Rata ta ya. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I know sometimes it's like it's not working. Keep doing it. Ma pale fana mai. Hey, those of you doing all night. Keep doing it. Amele fale nae. Hey, your quiet time. Keep doing it. A pale fan te mai. Rata mai atai. You are expecting God for a child. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. One day, he will step in. So, for those of us who are already tired, the world is mocking you. It happened to the apostles. They said they were drunk. You are not drunk. You are not foolish. The songwriter said, "I'm pressing on the upward way. I'm not stopping. Don't look back." Keep contact with headquarters. Just one of these days, you will wake up, and it will be your prayer answer. You will wake up, and it will be God. A man can find God. You will search for me, and you will find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Keep searching. Keep searching. Keep searching. Keep searching. There is a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty. Give it him. Understand.